Question for Trey. Trey, when Lane was talking to the media after Saturday's game, he was talking about the the penalties that have transpired over the last two games, and he said that, you know, from a secondary standpoint, it's kind of inevitable just because of how physical y'all play. Do y'all agree? Do you agree with that assessment? And if so, just what's kind of the objective to get that area fixed? I feel like the whole DB group just want to play, like, aggressive, you know? That's how Mano um, just playing fast. And, like, some sometimes you're going to get calls, you know? But um, we want to make plays, you know, and to be – in the right uh, spot, spot, and um, you know, but I feel like we can um, lay low with the penalties and stuff like that. But I, that starts in practice, so um, we're gonna most definitely like practice that, um, not doing no penalties or like holding and stuff like that. So yeah. Trey, just what are some things that you've seen? You know, the defense be really good at up to this point. Repeat that. Repeat that. Sorry. Just what have you seen from the defense that have been really good through these first four games? Man, we've seen um, a lot of, you know, impact, you know, starting with the D line. They're always eating, um, you know, um, the DBs. I feel like we're going to go a long way, but like we're still not finished. And there's always room for like improvement. So uh, this year uh, it's been it's been going good. So yeah. Troy, did you have a chance to look at Kentucky's film? Uh, yeah, it was just finished watching um, some Kentucky. You know, so got two two elite receivers, in right? Brown and Key. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have you've ever played against them before? I have. I have last year. Um, pretty pretty good wide receiver room. Um, Real speed, um, find techniques, you know, get up and get them off their routes, you know, mess up the timing. Uh, if you mess up the timing, you know, D line is going to eat. So, best of both worlds, you know, so yeah. Trey, you have 16 total tackles on the year, all so low. What do you credit that to? Um, I feel like just starting off with practice, just setting the tone and, um, just uh, just being physical, showing that um, that's what I've been working on, trying to tackle, and, you know, yeah. How much do you think these first four games, you know, based on uh, everything that, you know, the way you all dominated, the quality of opponent, all that, how prepared do you feel like these first four games made you all for SEC play? Um, it showed – a lot of like our character, but like there's still um, work to be made, and you know we're gonna improve as the season go on. We're just having that you know one no mindset every week, and just trying to continue that. So yeah. So uh, Trey, when you whether it be in your recruiting process or when you got here, when did you find out that you would get to dunk a basketball on the sideline after an interception, and what did you think of it? Uh, I feel like it was pretty exciting, you know. Uh, I really didn't know what type of dunk I really wanted to do, but it was just, it was just fun, you know. It was something different. Um, trying to get some more dunks in, you know, later in the season. But, yeah, it was pretty fun. What's better, getting an interception or getting to do the dunk afterwards? Oh, both. <laughs> both of them. was deaf. Was and then deaf, who's man. the best dunker on the team, do you think? Uh, I feel like it's... Brandon Turnage was deaf. Yeah, he got hops, real hops. Yeah. I can't really tell from the press box. Is that thing ten feet, or do they lower it for you guys to help out with the uh, the highlight? I think it was. I think it was a little bit higher, but uh, as like the games went, they put it a little bit lower because everybody kept <laughs> missing it, <laughs> missing the dunk. So they put it lower. So yeah. And then yeah. to take you back just a little bit, um, what is it like? being recruited by Lane Kiffin. I'm curious what that phone call is like. He, I mean, seems to work on a lot of guys, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I didn't get on the phone with uh, Coach Lane Kiffin. It was really in person, talking to him, just trying to get the connection and, like, relationship. And I feel like it's been a great relationship with him, you know. Um, really smart coach, man. It's like, it's crazy. When I was talking to him, um, I was just, you know, gathering all the details throughout that process when I first got to meet him in his um, 
his office. It was just like, yeah, it was like a lot of uh, great, great pointers and things he had liked about me and things I can do for this team. Um, but yeah. Him being an offensive guy, did, did it surprise you at all to be able to you know, talk defensive shop or what, what was that like? Uh, it's pretty good because, um, you know, when I was in the um, portal, he was just talking about we, we need someone, you know, and he just felt like I was the, the guy to, you know, step in and just, you know, lead from like the cornerback room, not just the cornerback room, just as a the team as, in a whole. So um, I'm just grateful to take the position and just try to like let that carry over and um, make the most of it every day. Mm -hmm. Trey, you know, you played a lot of SEC ball. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you prepare some of these guys on the defense or on the team as a whole that haven't experienced SEC play yet? Man, it starts um, film room. It starts film room, uh, knowing your keys, knowing when and what they're going to do after motion, before motions. Um, and you just know, like, they're going to give you, they're going to give, like, their best shot regardless. Uh, so SEC is not uh, not to be played with. So everybody got to come in with their A game on. So, yeah, we ready. It's early in the season, but just how much do you think you've improved from last year? And I guess just how is – meshing with all the new coaches and players going for you so far? Uh, I feel like I improved, you know, um, tackling the ex, uh, aspect of it. But uh, like I said, there's still more to like improve and just trying to learn something every day to try to, um, you know, build, you know, build, have more knowledge to the game and, you know, play fast and stuff like that. Uh, you guys gave up the first touchdown of the season uh, last week. Okay. How do you kind of overcome that and look ahead and be like, you know, we're going to give up touchdowns this year. We just got to bounce back. And uh -huh. uh, I feel like we just have to play like the play the next play. Um, you're going to have, you know, plays where um, there's miscommunications or it just doesn't go your way. You just got to play the next play and have that mentality that like um, the next play is coming to you. And you do not have to make that play for your team and um, just keep on going for the, uh, the rest of the game. Thanks, Ray. No problem. Appreciate it.